أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ياسين والقرآن الحكيم إنك لمن المرسلين على صراط مستقيم تنزيل العزيز الرحيم لتنذر قوما ما أنذر آباؤهم فهم غافلون لقد حق القول على أكثرهم فهم لا يؤمنون إنا جعلنا في أعناقهم أغلالا فهي إلى الأذقان فهم مكمحون وجعلنا من بين أيديهم سدا ومن خلفهم سدا فأغشيناهم فهم لا يبسرون وسواء عليهم أأنذرتهم أم لم تنذرهم لا يؤمنون إنما تنذر من اتبع الذكر وخشي الرحمن بالغيب فبشره بمغفرة وأجر كريم إنا نحن نحي الموتى ونكتب ما قدموا وآثارهم وكل شيء أحصيناه في إمام مبين واضرب لهم مثلا أصحاب القرية إذ جاءها المرسلون إذ أرسلنا إليهم اثنين فكذبوهما فعززنا بثالث فقالوا إنا إليكم مرسلون قالوا ما أنتم إلا بشر مثلنا وما أنزل الرحمن من شيء إن أنتم إلا تكذبون قالوا ربنا يعلم إنا إليكم لمرسلون وما علينا إلا البلاغ المبين قالوا إنا تطيرنا بكم لئن لم تنتهوا لنرجمنكم وليمسنكم منا عذاب أليم قالوا طائركم معكم أئن ذكرتم بل أنتم قوم مسرفون وجاء من أقصى المدينة رجل يسعى قال يا قوم اتبعوا المرسلين اتبعوا من لا يسألكم أجرا وهم مهتدون وما لي لا أعبد الذي فطرني وإليه ترجعون أأتخذ من دونه آلهة إن يردني الرحمن بضر لا تغن عني شفاعتهم شيئا ولا ينقذون إني إذا لفي ضلال مبين إني آمنت بربكم فاسمعون قيل دخل الجنة قال يا ليت قومي يعلمون بما غفر لي ربي وجعلني من المكرمين 
وما أنزلنا على قومه من بعده من جند من السماء وما كنا منزلين إن كانت إلا صيحة واحدة فإذا هم خامدون يا حسرة على العباد ما يأتيهم من رسول إلا كانوا به يستهزئون ألم يروا كم أهلكنا قبلهم من القرون أنهم إليهم لا يرجعون وإن كل لما جميع لدينا محضرون وآية لهم الأرض الميتة أحييناها وأخرجنا منها حبا فمنه يأكلون وجعلنا فيها جنات من نخيل وأعناب وفجرنا فيها من العيون ليأكلوا من ثمره وما عملته أيديهم أفلا يشكرون سبحان الذي خلق الأزواج كلها مما تنبت الأرض ومن أنفسهم ومما لا يعلمون وآية لهم الليل نسلخ منه النهار فإذا هم مظلمون والشمس تجري لمستقر لها ذلك تقدير العزيز العليم والقمر قدرناه منازل حتى عاد كالعرجون القديم للشمس ينبغي لها أن تدرك القمر ولا الليل سابق النهار وكل في فلك يسبحون وآية لهم أنا حملنا ذريتهم في الفلك المشحون وخلقنا لهم من مثله ما يركبون وإن نشأ نغرقهم فلا صريخ لهم ولا هم ينقذون إلا رحمة منا ومتاعا إلى حين وإذا قيل لهم اتقوا ما بين أيديكم وما خلفكم لعلكم ترحمون وما تأتيهم من آية من آيات ربهم إلا كانوا عنها معرضين وإذا قيل لهم أنفقوا مما رزقكم الله قال الذين كفروا للذين آمنوا أنطعم من لو يشاء الله أطعمه إن أنتم إلا في ضلال مبين ويقولون متى هذا الوعد إن كنتم صادقين ما ينذرون إلا صيحة واحدة تأخذهم وهم يخصمون فلا يستطيعون توسية ولا إلى أهلهم يرجعون ونفخ في السور فإذا هم من الأجداث إلى ربهم ينسلون قالوا يا ويلنا من بعثنا من مرقدنا هذا ما وعد الرحمن وصدق المرسلون إن كانت إلا صيحة واحدة فإذا هم جميع لدينا محضرون فاليوم لا تظلم نفس شيئا ولا تجزون إلا ما كنتم تعملون إن أصحاب الجنة اليوم في شغل فاكهون هم وأزواجهم في ظلال على الأرائك متكئون لهم فيها فاكهة ولهم ما يدعون سلام 
قولاً من رب الرحيم وامتاز اليوم أيها المجرمون ألم أعهد إليكم يا بني آدم ألا تعبدوا الشيطان إنه لكم عدو مبين وأن يعبدوني هذا صراط مستقيم ولقد أضل منكم جبلا كثيرا أفلم تكونوا تعقلون هذه جهنم التي كنتم توعدون إصلوها اليوم بما كنتم تكفلون اليوم نختم على أفواههم وتكلمنا أيديهم وتشهد أرجلهم بما كانوا يكسبون ولو نشاء لطمسنا على أعينهم فاستبقوا الصراط فأنا يبسرون ولو نشاء لمسخناهم على مكانتهم فما استطاعوا مضيا ولا يرجعون ومن نعمره ننكسه في الخلق أفلا يعقلون وما علمناه الشعر وما ينبغي له إن هو إلا ذكر وقرآن مبين لينذر من كان حيا ويحق القول على الكافرين أولم يروا أنا خلقنا لهم مما عملت أيدينا أنعاما فهم لها مالكون وذللناها لهم فمنها ركوبهم ومنها يأكلون ولهم فيها منافع ومشارب أفلا يشكرون واتخذوا من دون الله آلهة لعلهم ينكرون صرون لا يستطيعون نصرهم وهم لهم جند محضرون فلا يحزنك قولهم إن نعلم ما يسرون وما يعلنون أولم ير الإنسان أن خلقناه من نطفة فإذا هو خصيم مبين وضرب لنا مثلا ونسي خلقه قال من يحيي العظام وهي رميم قل يحييها الذي أنشأها أول مرة وهو بكل خلق عليم الذي جعل لكم من الشجر الأخضر نارا فإذا أنتم منه توقدون أوليس الذي خلق السماوات والأرض بقادر على أن يخلق مثلهم بلى وهو الخلاق العليم إنما أمره إذا أراد شيئا أن يقول له كن فيكون فسبحان الذي بيده ملكوت كل شيء وإليه ترجعون صدق الله العظيم اللهم آمين أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إنا كنا من الظالمين إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيرنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما بقدر عظمة ذاتك في كل وقت وحيم 
اللهم إنا نحستحفظك ونستودعك أدياننا وأبداننا وأنفسنا وأهلنا وأولادنا وأولادنا وأموالنا وكل شيء أعطيتنا اللهم اجعلنا وإياهم في كنفك وأمانك وعياذك من كل شيطان مريد وجبار عنيد وذي بغي وذي حسد ومن شر كل ذي شر إنك على كل شيء قدير اللهم جملنا بالعافية والسلام وحققنا بالتقوى والاستقامة وأعذنا من موجبات الندامة إنك سميع الدعاء اللهم اغفر لنا ولوالدينا وأولادنا ومشايخنا وأصحابنا وإخواننا في الدين ولمن أحبنا فيك ولمن أحسن إلينا والمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك سميع قريب مجيب الدعوات برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين وصل اللهم على عبدك ورسولك سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم وارزقنا كمال المتابعة له ظاهرا وباتنا في عافية وسلامة برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين يا الله يا الله يا الله ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وأدخلنا الجنة مع الأبرار يا عزيز يا غفار يا رب العالمين ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه يجمعين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله سيدنا محمد رسول الله اللهم آمين 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 أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما تقدموا لأنفسكم من خير تجدوه عند الله هو خيرا وأعظم أجرا واستغفر الله إن الله غفور رحيم استغفر الله 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 
ഹൈയൽ <Sessizlik> اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم 
اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما بقدر عظمة ذاتك في كل وقت وحين فاعلم أنه لا إله إلا الله 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 سيدنا محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين 
اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الذين قال لهم الناس إن الناس قد جمعوا لكم فاخشوهم فزادهم إيمانا وقالوا حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل 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 فانقلبوا بنعمة من الله وفضل لم يمسسهم سوء واتبعوا ردوان الله والله ذو فضل عظيم 
اللهم يا لطيف التف بنا فيما جرت به المقادير اللهم يا لطيف التف بنا فيما جرت به المقادير اللهم يا لطيف التف بنا فيما جرت به المقادير وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم امين اعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاه والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله واصحابه اجمعين ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد صاحب التاج والمعراج والبراك والعلم دافع البلاء والوباء والقحط والمرض والالم اسمه مكتوب مرفوع مشفوع منكوش في اللوح والقلم سيد العرب والعجم جسمه مقدس معتر متهر منور في البيت والحرم شمس الدحى بدر الدجى صدر العلا نور الهدى كهف الورى مصباح الظلم جميل الشيم شفيع الأمم صاحب الجود والكرم والله عاصمه وجبريل خادمه والبراك مركبه والمعراج سفره وسدرة المنتهى مقامه وقاب قوسين مطلوبه والمطلوب مقصوده والمقصود موجوده سيد المرسلين خاتم النبيين شفيع المذنبين انيس الغريبين رحمه للعالمين راحه العاشقين مراد المشتاقين شمس العارفين سراج السالكين مصباح المقربين محب الفقراء والغرباء والمساكين سيد الثقلين نبي الحرمين امام القبلتين وسيلتنا في الدارين وسيلتنا في الدارين صاحب قاب قوسين محبوب رب المشرقين والمغربين جد الحسن والحسين جد الحسن والحسين مولانا ومولى الثقلين ابي القاسم محمد بن عبد الله نور من نور الله نور من نور الله يا ايها المشتاقون بنور جماله صلوا عليه واله واصحابه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم تسليما بقدر عظمه ذاتك في كل وقت وحين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وارغلنا الجنة مع الأبرار يا عزيز يا غفار يا رب العالمين ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم 
وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله سيدنا محمد رسول الله اللهم آمين 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 بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا علي يا عظيم يا حليم يا عليم أنت ربي وعلمك حسبي فنعم الرب ربي ونعم الحسب حسبي تنسر من تشاء وأنت العزيز الرحيم نسألك العصمة في الحركات والسكنات والكلمات والإرادات والخطرات من الشكوك والذنون والأوهام الساترة للقلوب عن مطالعة الغيوب فقد ابتلي المؤمنون وزلزلوا زلزالا شديدا وإذ يقول المنافقون والذين في قلوبهم مرض ما وعدنا الله ورسوله إلا غرورا فثبتنا وانصرنا وسخر لنا هذا البحر كما سخرت البحر لموسى وسخرت النار لإبراهيم وسخرت الجبال والحديد لداود وسخرت الريح والشياطين والجن لسليمان وسخر لنا كل بحر هو لك في الأرض والسماء والملك والملكوت وبحر الدنيا وبحر الآخرة وسخر لنا كل شيء يا من بيده ملكوت كل شيء كاف ها يا عين صاد كاف ها يا عين صاد كاف ها يا عين صاد انصرنا فإنك خير الناصرين وافتح لنا فإنك خير الفاتحين واغفر لنا فإنك خير الغافرين وارحمنا فإنك خير الراحمين وارزقنا فإنك خير الرازقين واهدنا ونجنا من القوم الظالمين وهب لنا ريحا طيبة كما هي في علمك وانشرها علينا من خزائن رحمتك واحملنا بها حمل الكرامة مع السلامة والعافية في الدين والدنيا والآخرة إنك على كل شيء قدير 
اللهم يسر لنا أمورنا مع الراحة لقلوبنا وأبداننا والسلامة والعافية في دنيانا وديننا وكن لنا صاحبا في سفرنا وخليفة في أهلنا واطمس على وجوه أعدائنا وامسخهم على مكانتهم فلا يستطيعون المضيء ولا المجيء إلينا ولو نشاء لطمسنا على أعينهم فاستبقوا الصراط فأنا يبسرون ولو نشاء لمسخناهم على مكانتهم فما استطاعوا مضيا ولا يرجعون ياسين والقرآن الحكيم إنك لمن المرسلين على صراط مستقيم تنزيل العزيز الرحيم لتنذر قوما ما أنذر آباؤهم فهم غافلون لقد حق القول على أكثرهم فهم لا يؤمنون إنا جعلنا في أعناقهم أغلالا فهي إلى الأذقان فهم مكمحون وجعلنا من بين أيديهم سدا ومن خلفهم سدا فأغشيناهم فهم لا يبسرون شاهت الوجوه شاهت الوجوه شاهت الوجوه وعنت الوجوه للحي القيوم وقد خاب من حمل ظلما طاسين حاميم عين قاف مرج البحرين يلتقيان بينهما برزخ لا يبغيان حاميم 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 هم الأمر وجاء النصر فعلينا لا ينصرون حاميم تنزيل الكتاب من الله العزيز العليم غافر الذنب وقابل الطوب شديد العقاب ذي التول لا إله إلا هو إليه المصير بسم الله بابنا تبارك حيطاننا ياسين سقفنا كاف ها يا عين صاد كفايتنا حاميم عين سين قاف حمايتنا فسيكفيكهم الله وهو السميع العليم فسيكفيكهم الله وهو السميع العليم فسيكفيكهم الله وهو السميع العليم 
Sitrul arshi masbulun alayna Wa ayinu allahi naziratun ilayna Bihawlillahi la yuqdaru alayna Wallahu min waraihim muhit Bal huwa Qur'anun majid Fi lawhim mahfuz Fallahu khayrun hafizan Wa huwa arhamun rahimin Fallahu khayrun hafizan Wa huwa arhamun rahimin Fallahu khayrun hafizan Wa huwa arhamun rahimin Inna waliyya Allahu Alladhi nazzal al-kitab Wa huwa yatawalla al-salihin Inna waliyya Allahu Alladhi nazzal al-kitab Wa huwa yatawalla al-salihin Inna waliyya Allahu Alladhi nazzal al-kitab Wa huwa yatawalla al-salihin Hasbi Allahu la ilaha illahu Alayhi tawakkaltu wa huwa rabbul arshil azim Hasbi Allahu la ilaha illahu عليه توكلت وهو رب العرش العظيم حسبي الله لا إله إلا هو عليه توكلت وهو رب العرش العظيم بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وآله وصحبه وسلم بسم الله والحمد لله رب العالمين أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله لطيف بعباده يرزق من يشاء وهو القوي العزيز يا لطيف 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 يا لط
latif ya 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 Latif, 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 Ya Ultuf bina ya latif ya alim ya khabir Ya latifan bi khalqihi ya aliman bi khalqihi ya khabiran bi khalqihi Ultuf bina ya latif ya alim ya khabir يا لطيفا بخلقه يا عليما بخلقه يا خبيرا بخلقه ألطف بنا يا لطيف يا عليم يا خبير اللهم يا من لطفت في خلق السماوات والأرض ولطفت بالأجنة في بتون أمهاتها ألطف بنا لطفا يليك بكرمك ورحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين يا الله اللهم يا من جعلت الصلاة على النبي من القربات نتقرب إليك بكل صلاة سليت عليه من أول النشأة إلى ما لا نهاية من الكمالات بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يسوق الخير إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يصرف السوء إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله وما بكم من نعمة فمن الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يسوق الخير إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يصرف السوء إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله وما بكم من نعمة فمن الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يسوق الخير إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يصرف السوء إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله وما بكم من نعمة فمن الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل صلاة كاملة وسلم سلاما تاما على سيدنا محمد الذي تنحل به العقد وتنفرج به الكرب وتقضى به الحوائج وتنال به الرغائب 
الحبيب وحسن الخواتيم ويستسقى الغمام بوجهه الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه في كل لمحة ونفس بعدد كل معلوم لك اللهم صل صلاة كاملة وسلم سلاما تاما على سيدنا محمد الذي تنحل به العقد وتنفرج به الكرب وتقضى به الحوائج وتنال به الرغائب وحسن الخواتيم ويستسقى الغمام بوجهه الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه في كل لمحة ونفس بعدد كل معلوم لك اللهم صل صلاة كاملة وسلم سلاما تاما على سيدنا محمد الذي تنحل به العقد وتنفرج به الكرب وتقضى به الحوائج وتنال به الرغائب وحسن الخواتيم ويستسقى الغمام بوجهه الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه في كل لمحة ونفس بعدد كل معلوم لك إن شاء الله وكنتني والذكر جامعة لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله إن شاء الله ميك دعانا اللهم أمين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما صليت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما بركت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we pray for our Shaykh, teacher, merchant, and master, Sayyidina Shaykh Faisal Hamid Abdul Razak. O oh Allah, may you increase him in knowledge and wisdom. O oh Allah, may you protect him from evil, and we pray that he will lead his marids on the straight path towards you. O oh Allah, we pray for the Shaykh and his family. We pray that you strengthen them in iman, keep them in good health, and grant them long life in Islam. 
O oh Allah, we pray that you protect them from all evil, ease their trials, and grant them the sweetness of paradise. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adhaab in nar. O Allah, forgive us for our sins and guide us on the straight path leading to paradise. O oh Allah, you know the needs of all of us present here. O oh Allah, answer our dawah and take care of our needs. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we pray for our parents that you grant them your grace and mercy as they raised us in childhood. O oh, oh Allah, grant our parents long life and good health in Islam. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, forgive our parents and grant them paradise. O oh Allah, for our parents who have passed away and returned to you, O oh Allah, we beg you to forgive them. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we pray for all the marines of Sheikh Faisal throughout the world. O oh Allah, we pray that you ease our trials and, us, and grant us the strength to face our trials. O oh Allah, make it easy for us to gain true knowledge and to practice it, to be good marines and to get ever closer to you. O oh Allah, you know the needs of all of the marines. O oh Allah, we beg you to answer our, our dua and take care of our needs. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we pray for all the Muslims around the world. O oh Allah, we pray that you strengthen us in Iman. O oh Allah, we pray for unity and to make us stronger as a nation. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, please comfort and relieve all Muslims who are suffering and have suffered losses. O oh Allah, you are the all-powerful and the almighty. O oh Allah, we beg you to give us victory against the unbelievers. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we pray for the International Islamic Forum and al Faisal and Dhikr Halaqa. May you make it easy for us to establish many messages for your sake. May you bless the Islamic Forum and al Faisal and Dhikr Halaqa to be a beacon of to be a beacon of light for Islam throughout the world. And may help us to finish building the new masjid soon and make it easy for us to do so. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammadan wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salamun ala al-mursani walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah Sayyidina Muhammadun Rasulullah. أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبد الله ورسوله اللهم افتح علينا فتوح العارفين ووفقنا توفيق الصالحين وانفعنا اللهم بالقرآن والذكر الحكيم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا من فضلك علما وتعليما يقربنا منك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهلا وأنت يا حي يا قيوم تجعل الحزن إذا شئت سهلا سهلا اللهم أعزنا من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا وأصلح لنا شأننا كله لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين آمين آمين أما بعد My dear respected brothers and sisters, my dear Murids, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. May the peace and blessings of God Almighty be with each and every one of you. And welcome once again to this special program coming to you from the Islamic Forum of Canada, where we share with you this message of mercy from God Almighty to all of His creation. This is our special daily broadcast starting at 7 p.m. Toronto time or Eastern time and coming to you from your Zawiya here at the Islamic Forum. We thank you for joining us in our program today and we hope you can join us every day 7 p.m. Toronto time and view our program. We kindly request you to reach out to others, to tell your family members, your relatives, your friends, and other Muslims that you know about this program. Invite them to watch the program. Share the YouTube link with them. 
and encourage them to watch the program. Inshallah, they will benefit from the program and you will receive increased blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, you do so by clicking on the subscribe button and then next to the subscribe button there's a bell icon. Click on the bell icon and select all for notifications. We also kindly request you to enter your information in the chat your name and the city where you're from and also your update for the three ongoing projects these three blessed sacred project the gratitude project the salawat project and the quran project do remember to enter your update in the chat about these three important projects inshallah we want to uh, recognize and thank the sponsors for the dinner program uh, for this special broadcast. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all those families that have sponsored the dinner program in this month. And we also want to recognize and thank and make special dua for all our donors. Those who donated today, those who donated yesterday, those who donated before, all our donors. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of them. We make special dua for them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless their family, their children, their spouses, their parents, their siblings. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all their loved ones uh, for their donation because of their donation to the Islamic Forum. Uh, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enrich them many, many more times than what they donate to the Islamic Forum. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put barakah in their wealth that they would be blessed with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has uh, given to them in risk and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase their risk for them. Uh, special dua for all our donors uh, and we kindly request you to make a generous donation to the Islamic Forum. Uh, you can do so by uh, going to our website islamicforumonline.com and then go to the donation page and there's several categories of donations that are listed there and you can select any one of them or multiple choices uh, different choices for your donation what you would like to do remember the blessings are great from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam says in the hadith ma naqasa malin bis your wealth will never decrease because of spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The scholars have mentioned uh, the meaning is that your wealth will most certainly increase because of spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It never decrease, it will only, only increase. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put barak in your wealth and increase your wealth because of spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The, the scholars have mentioned that one of the reasons for this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, one of his great attributes is he is al karim the most generous one. And he doesn't want anyone to be more generous than him, any of his creation to be more generous than him. So the more you spend for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the more Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will spend on you. And in the Hadith Qudsi, the Prophet Ali his last son says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O son of Adam, spend so that I can spend on you. Spend in my way, spend for my cause so that I can spend on you. This is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responds to those who spend in his way and for his cause. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran that this is the way, the opening for you to attain piety, birr. In the Quran, Allah subhanahu reveals, لَن تَنَالُوا الْبِرَّ حَتَّى تُنْفِقُوا مِمَّا تُحِبُّونَ You will never attain birr or piety unless and until you spend of what you love, your, uh, your wealth for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this concept of birr in the Quran uh, refers to the pinnacle, the high point, the acme. The best of all the qualities of the believers that they're described in the Quran, the pinnacle of that is birr. Uh, and, and so the way to achieving that is by spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yet again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us of some of the great rewards of spending in His way, of giving sadaqah, charity, donation for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, 
مثل الذين ينفقون أموالهم في سبيل الله كمثل حبة أنبتت سبع سنابل في كل سنبلة مئة حبة والله يضعف لمن يشاء والله واسع عليم الله سبحانه وتعالى talks about the example of those who spend in the way of Allah سبحانه وتعالى he gives the similitude of a grain of corn, one grain of corn. You plant that and it bears eight branches or ears. In each branch, there are a hundred grains. So that one grain is multiplied 700 times. Seven branches in each one, a hundred grains. One grain multiplied 700 times. The rewards you get for spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, at the end of the ayah, he, he says, Wallahu yudha'ifu li man yasha. Wallahu wa'asiyun alim. And Allah SWT will give multiple increase to whomever He wants. In other words, more than 700 times. Uh, whatever Allah SWT would like to do, it's, it disguise the limit. There, or there's, actually there's no limit of the rewards from Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala for those who do need. I want you to bear in mind these things so that you can be from among those who would spend in the way of Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala so that Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala can bless you more and more and more. I also want to share with you that our concern in this program is to serve you and to be of benefit to you and two specific things to focus on your safety or your well-being, your security your health, and also on your spirituality. So those two things, your spirituality and then your safety and well-being. Uh, we want to, to take care of that and so to make constant dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect you and to keep you safe, you and your family, your loved ones, to keep you safe in, in, uh, in uh, the best state of afiyah, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, has mentioned on the tongue of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the importance of afiyah. This great blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then your spirituality, your connection to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and your connection to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that you should be mindful of, inshallah, and we make special dua for you in that respect. I also want to remind you of uh, the viral video clips. These are short video clips our staff uh, uh, have prepared for you, uh, for your benefit, for your uh, enjoyment uh, for your viewing pleasure uh, the special viral video clip and we are emailing the links to those video clips you can enjoy them inshallah uh, if you'd like to receive the video clips please send us your email address and your whatsapp number if you have a whatsapp number inshallah we also have the special sira series that our staff put together this is a special series of special lectures we delivered on the seerah of the Prophet, the life history of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. I would like now to make a special dua uh, for each and every one of you, for all our donors, uh, our sponsors of the dinner program, our donors, those who donated today, yesterday, before, and all of them before that as well. And all those who've entered into the chat, their name and city where they're from, and their updates on the three projects, we make special dua for them. And for each and every one of you, I make special dua for each and every one of you. Whatever dua you want to make to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, put that knee in your heart and we appeal in this dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He would accept your knee and dua and, and, and bless you with everything that you ask Him for. And I also want to include my parents, my grandparents, my family uh, in, in, in dua. And please remember them, mention them in your dua as well. So kindly raise your hands and join me in dua. اللهم آمين أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إنا كنا من الظالمين لا إله إلا الله الحليم الكريم سبحان الله رب العرش العظيم والحمد لله رب العالمين 
اللهم إنا نسألك موجبات رحمتك وعزائم مغفرتك والغنيمة من كل بر والسلامة من كل إثم اللهم لا تدع لنا ذنبا إلا غفرت ولا هما إلا فرجت ولا دينا إلا قديت ولا مريضا إلا شفيت ولا مريضا إلا شفيت ولا ميتا إلا رحمت ولا ميتا إلا رحمت ولا حاجة من حوائج الدنيا والآخرة هي لك رضا إلا قديتها برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ورخنا الجنة مع الأبرار يا عزيز يا غفار يا رب العالمين وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه يا جماعين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين الله وقت الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله سيدنا محمد رسول الله اللهم آمين 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 I once again want to remind you of our three ongoing projects the three projects uh, the gratitude project the salawat project the Quran project for you to be mindful about them, participate in them actively, and then do remember to enter your, your updates in the chat for the three projects, and may Allah SWT bless you. And now, we'll have our special lecture for tonight. May Allah SWT bless you with his special blessings. Amen. أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبد الله ورسوله اللهم افتع علينا فتوه العارفين ووفقنا توفيق الصالحين وانفعنا اللهم بالقرآن والذكر الحكيم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا من فضلك علما وتعليما يقربنا منك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهلا وأنت يا حي يا قيوم تجعل الهزن إذا شئت سهلا سهلا اللهم أعزنا من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا وأصلح لنا شأننا كله لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين آمين آمين أما بعد My dear brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته May the peace and blessings of God Almighty be with each and every one of you and welcome once again to this special series of lectures on one of the spiritual giants of our ummah in our history, Sayyidi Sheikh Abdul Qadir Al Jilani, radiallahu anhu. Among his great titles, he is referred to as Sultan al Awliya, Al Ghosul Aadham, and so on. Many are his great titles. Uh, this noble sheikh and what a wonderful journey it has been for us so far in these series uh, this uh, specific particular series of lectures on the life the teachings the lessons to be learned from him uh, this great personality Sayyidi Sheikh Abdul Qadir Al Jilani Rajulahu Anhu Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions about this special category of believers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals in the Quran, Surah Yunus, 
ألا إن أولياء الله لا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون الذين آمنوا وكانوا يتقون Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals about his awliya, his special friends, those who are close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that there is no grief on them, there is no fear for them, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes care of them in this dunya and in, this, uh, in the akhirah. And Sayyidi Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani is, has the title of Sultan al-Awliya, that the awliya have confirmed, conferred on him. I want to continue this journey uh, to say something about the precursor to the spiritual order he established and something about the importance of being part of a spiritual order, a recognized, authentic spiritual order that's based on Quran and Sunnah. The sermons, the speeches of uh, Sayyidi Sheikh Abdul Qadir al Jilani were a source of great inspiration to the large population of Baghdad. Baghdad being the city center of the Ummah, the place of the Khilafah, the seat of the Khilafah, of political power. And with that, it brought uh, economic power, cultural power, uh, a center of knowledge of Islam, and so on. Uh, and, and so people would converge on Baghdad to be there at this time that Sayyidi Sheikh Abdul Qadir al-Jilani was there. And so his sermons enabled thousands of people to offer honest repentance for their sins and return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But in order to build up a movement aiming at widespread and permanent reform of the social, moral, and spiritual life of the people, it was necessary to find out a way whereby more durable relations could be fostered between the mentor, the spiritual guide, Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani, and the disciples, his students, his followers, and so on. And at the same time, arrangements could also be made for the religious education and training of the followers. As it were, the discourses did not provide a permanent link between the speaker, the Sheikh, and the audience, the people. People came to these gatherings, listened to the sermons, and left perhaps to come back again or not at their sweet will. There, were, there was no obligation for them to, for example, come every day and so on. The, the, the commitment was not there. And so people would make this decision themselves. Many of them persisted in a way they had been threading along upon without paying any heed to the call of the reformer to purify their souls and to rectify their moral behavior. So people would come and they would benefit from his lectures then, but there wasn't that sincere, uh, conformed uh, commitment on their part to follow a specific course of action and to be serious about that. That was absent. There were, in that time, religious semin ceremon seminaries, religious schools, and education institutions, but they did not provide an answer to this problem. Uh, they would just teach people about Islam, and people would learn about Islam, but there was no organized way to, to motivate uh, people to act in a coordinated manner, to change society, to change themselves. The problem of uh, making arrangements for a continued and concerted effort for the education and training of the people in religious tenets and practices and in a new life spread over far off lands defy the solution in the absence of a truly Islamic home or abode that people can be connected to. And so uh, Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani recognized this. And he set about to do something about this. The, the, the foremost focus and the objective of the Khilafah, the leadership of the Muslims, in the words of the great Khalifa, Sayyidina Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, is to guide the people in moral rectitude rather than to collect revenues or taxes for the management and conduct of the administration. 
It was to guide the people in more rectitude, to, to re rectify them, to reform them, to make sure they, they can live a good life, to set institutions in place, rules and guidelines in place that would help people to live a life pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This great Khalifa, Sayyidina Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, said that this is the real objective of the Khilafah, of uh, the leadership of the Muslim Ummah. The Muslim states at that time were, however, not only indifferent to this fundamental objective, but were also extremely allergic to any movement or criticism on this core, which could pose a threat to their political supremacy. So leaders in different parts of the Muslim world, in different states, were concerned with perpetuating their own power. And anything that was organized outside of their control was seen as a threat to them. And so these governments, being suspicious of all efforts made for the resurgence of the Islamic spirit, and erroneously taking these as movements designed to build up political leadership, lost no time in crushing them. That's what they would do. They would uh, uh, go against uh, any movement that would try to change society outside of what they were doing. Even then, it's, it's no different now. Uh, but in those days, days, it was also the case. And so, the Sheikh, Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani, uh, thought that there must be some way to change this situation. And this was his attitude, his mindset throughout his life. That he, he would never uh, sit back and be quiet uh, in the face of challenges in society. He would never give up hope, saying that nothing can be done. He would always think of ways of doing it. And uh, throughout his life so far, this, he spent seven decades in Baghdad uh, when he came there at about 18 years of age and he passed away in Baghdad at 90 years of age. So uh, seven decades, 70 years or so in, in Baghdad. And, and this is what he did to serve not only Baghdad but the entire Muslim Ummah because Baghdad was the seat of political authority and what happened there would spread to the rest of the Ummah. So the reforms he was able to institute in, in Baghdad spread to the rest of the Muslim world over a period of time. It, it influenced especially the scholars in, in other lands. And so he thought about this situation and to see how to be able to change society, change people first and foremost in the circumstances and challenges he was faced with. And so the idea of the spiritual art of the Sheikh came about, that he should earnestly institutionalize this. The concept of tasawwuf was already there. He had training in tasawwuf. His Sheikh, Sheikh al-Makrami, trained him in that. And then his, his spiritual journey of tasawwuf uh, unveiled for him great secrets. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed him with that that he was, he was inspired with great secrets from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he was able to do so much for the ummah. And so th this idea now of organizing, institutionalizing the spiritual order is what he said about doing. That no longer would there be uh, a free-for-all relationship with the spiritual order, but there has to be a formalized relationship with the spiritual order. So then next was the need for the Pledge of Allegiance or the Bayah that he came, that this commitment someone should make to follow a specific course of action that would be of benefit to them. That's the commitment that he said about to institutionalize. So in these circumstances, there was no way left to revive the religious spirit and fill the people with enthusiasm, zeal, and self-confidence for reintroduction of the precepts of religion in their daily life. The only alternative left was to call upon the people to take an oath of allegiance for this purpose, to reform themselves and to reform society. That is the purpose, that you, you try, uh, you make a commitment that you want to change yourself for the better. That is what he was telling people. But now, in a, it was taken it a step further. 
in addition to the public sermon of preaching to people and telling people this, he was inviting them now to make a formal commitment, a commitment that they want to change. So, for example, in our case, every day I remind you to recite the Weird Alarm Vicar, and we do it in the beginning of our program, our daily broadcast that we have. So, brothers and sisters will come, and they would recite the Weird Alarm Vicar. But some days they may be absent, they have other things to do, they get busy, and so on and so forth, and they may not come. But when you have a formal commitment, you feel that obligation to fulfill that commitment you've made. So you want to do that every day. And once you make that commitment of the bayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses you to be able to do that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put that feeling in your heart, which you don't have before you, you, you make or take that bayah, that feeling hard that you want to be close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows you the way to make it easy for you to do so. And you benefit tremendously by so doing. So this is what he started to implement for the people. And this followed in the footsteps of the Prophet Sallallahu uh, from his time. This concept of bayah or the, this special commitment is not a, a new concept in Islam. As we mentioned in our previous discourse, this was there since the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They were <coughs> Sahabas, Muslims in those early days of Islam that made bayah to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Uh, among which uh, the Bayat Al-Aqaba, Bayat Al-Aqaba, uh, Al-Ula, the first one. We representatives from Medina came and met the Prophet at a place called Aqaba, and that's what, why, how the bayah is named, and they pledged allegiance to him. They made bayah to the Prophet that they would believe in him and follow him uh, and obey him, that they would practice Islam. They're part of the ummah that way. And that was a low level of bayah. But that, that started the preparation for the, what was to come. That was the forerunner of the Hijra to Medina. And then after the first bayah of Aqaba, then uh, the representatives of Medina came for the second bayah to Aqaba. It's called bayah to Aqaba Athania or bayah to Aqaba Al Kubra. The first one, bayah to Aqaba Al Ula. This is the second one. And this was of a more serious nature what the representatives of uh, the people of Medina came and made bayah to the Prophet the Pledge of Allegiance on behalf of everyone in Medina. And some of the commentators mentioned that there were 63 of them that met with the Prophet for this occasion. So much smaller in numbers than many of our gatherings in, in this way. I, I mentioned this so that you would understand that even a small number of people can achieve much. And, and this second bayah was in addition to accepting Islam, believing the Prophet ﷺ, it was to support him and fight for him. So it was a different level now. And this was really the, uh, a turning point in the seal of the Prophet ﷺ, that he then gave instructions to the Sahabas, one by one, in, in, in small units or groups, to do Hijra migration to Medina from Mecca. And they started to do that. So th this is an example of Bayah. Many other examples. Uh, another example in the time of the Prophet ﷺ is at Hudaybiyyah, uh, in the sixth year after the Hijra, when the Muslims came to Mecca, uh, or they left Medina, with the near, with the intention to go to Mecca to perform Umrah, just in Ihram and everything. And then on the outskirts of, of Mecca, at a place called Hudaybiyah, they stopped and negotiated with Quraysh to enter Mecca, and, and the Quraysh refused in, in a very, in, under very unfavorable circumstances, taking advantage of the Muslims because they felt they were so strong then that Muslims could do nothing. And they, 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 they stopped them. And at one point in the negotiations, the Prophet ﷺ had sent Sayyidina Uthman ibn Affan to Mecca to negotiate with them. 
and his return was de de delayed. They, they, they didn't see him coming back. And the rumor spread that the Quraysh had killed uh, Sayyidina Uthman bin Affan. And the Prophet Sallallahu took uh, bay'ah from the, the beliefs, the, all the companions that were there, and there were thousands of them, that they would uh, fight to defend the honor of Sayyidina Uthman bin Affan. And so there was a tree there at Hudaybiyah that the Prophet sat down on the tree, and all the Sahabas came one by one, and they gave bay'ah to the Prophet It's called Bayatu Ridwan. And Allah SWT mentions this in the Quran. Allah SWT reveals in the Quran about this concept of bay'ah. And I'm mentioning this so you can know that this is not something foreign to Islam. It is part of Islam. And the Prophet uh, implemented this. And after him, uh, the Sahabas and Tabi'een did as well. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allah SWT reveals in the Quran. Inna alladheena yubayyi'unaka innama yubayyi'un Allah yadullahi fawka aydihim Allah SWT reveals this in Quran uh, telling the Prophet SAW, verily those who give bayat to you that pledge of allegiance to you they're actually giving bayat to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they're actually giving bayat to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and when they put their hands in your hand to give the bayat uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's hand is above their hands. Yadullahi fawqa aidihim. In this way. Beautiful, beautiful. What Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals in the Quran about this great step of bayan. The commitment you make. And this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses you when you do that. Blessings are increased tremendously. The, the Kaaba, at, at the Kaaba, uh, there's a black stone. The, the, the high point, the pinnacle, the most important part of this Kaaba, the black stone. And you've seen that. If you've gone there, you've seen it definitely, or on, in, in v pictures, videos, and so on, that uh, people, especially at busy times, uh, Hajj, Ramadan, and so on, people are literally, literally struggling to get to the black stone to kiss the black stone. They want to kiss the black stone. The Prophet of some kissed the black stone. Because the black stone is described as the hand of Allah, the symbolic hand of Allah on this earth, the black stone. So people tried to kiss that black stone. The Prophet kissed it. The Sahabas did. The hand of Allah in this concept. Then after the time of the Prophet, when Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq Rajallahu Anhu was appointed as a Khalifa, all the Sahabas gave bayat to him this pledge of allegiance, to follow him, to obey him, to follow his orders, like this. And after his passing, uh, would, uh, when Sayyidina, uh, Sayyidina Umar al Khattab was appointed as Khalifa, all the Sahabas gave away to him, like that. Then after him, Sayyidina Uthman al Affan, all the Sahabas gave away to him. After that, Sayyidina Ali ibn Abi Talib, all the Sahabas gave away to him, in, in, in this way. And so it continued through their time. And then after them, the fifth of the rightly guided Khulafa, uh, Sayyidina Imam Hassan, Rajallahu Anhu Alayhi Salam, the blessed grandson of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He is described as the fifth of the rightly guided Khulafa because of what he did, such a great person. Uh, and they gave bayo to him as well, and so on. It continued. After then, in the Khilafa al Abbasiyya, the Abbasid Khilafa, same thing happened. The people would do that, to give bayah uh, to them. After that, the uh, Khilaf al umawiyya the Umayyad Khilafah, they do that. After that, the uh, Khilaf al Uthmaniyya, the Ottoman Khilafah, they would do that, and so on. So this is something that's part of uh, Islam throughout our history. Now, uh, today is usually given to a sheikh of Tasawwuf the bay'ah, uh, for someone to become a murid, uh, a, a disciple as it were, of the shaykh, they would give bay'ah to the shaykh, this commitment uh, to follow spiritual practices like dhikr, for example, to do weird al-am, which is the first level of dhikr, and when uh, the, the student, the murid, uh, would uh, achieve the objectives of the weird al-am, they move on to the second level of dhikr. In our case, it is the salat to the ta'ziyah, 
uh, which is recited after every salat. And then in our uh, daily broadcast, uh, whether for the 7 p.m. Uh, daily lecture program or the nightly maulid program, these, we recite these dhikr to, so you can benefit from it and you can learn it and, and recite it yourself. So after the second level, the third level, it's the Hasmullah dhikr, uh, the fourth level, Hizbul Bahar, uh, the fifth le level, uh, the Latifiyah dhikr, and so on. Different levels to take you from one step to another step to another step. In this way, as you get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and, and so Sayyidi Sheikh Abdul Qadir al Jilani set about to establish this type of relationship between himself and his followers, his students, and so on. Following in the footsteps of the Messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it had become necessary that a spiritual guide or a guide of spiritual moral excellence should obtain an oath or the bayah, as it is called, from the people willing to offer sincere repentance and undertaken to lead a virtuous life in future in accordance with the directions of their mentor or spiritual guide. So this was a necessary thing uh, it seemed then, the scholars have mentioned, and it continues today. Today perhaps even more so because the challenges are greater, the challenges to Islam, to the Islam of people. Like the, there are so many challenges to Muslims practicing their Islam today. It, it's incredible. You know, the materialism and the atheism and the secularism. There's so many things that are pulling you away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And, and one of the caution is that you cannot by yourself independently protect yourself in this way. You, if you stay by yourself, then you would be consumed by the pressures of materialism and atheism and on Islam. This is what would happen. As the Prophet mentioned in the hadith that the wolf would prey on the sheep that strays away from the flock. That you have a flock of sheep, if one of them goes away, strays away, the wolf goes after that one. It doesn't come to the flock because it's easier to, to capture that, poor, that, that, that lone wolf, lone sheep. In that way, it's similarly for us. Shaitan prays or, or, or goes after, prays, P-R-E-Y-S, uh, goes after that believer that has strayed, strayed away this by themselves. So and this is why this jama'at that we have now, uh, the spiritual uh, jama'at, the virtual community that we have online in so many different countries, it's so important that you be part of it that you can gain this spiritual strength in this way, in this way. If placing oneself under the instruction of an inspired guide meant that he was freely started upon in his journey, or beginning of his journey, to the end of purification of spirit and moral rectitude, the oath of allegiance enjoyed a much more onerous responsibility on the spiritual guide, the, the mentor. So the, the, what is called the murshid, the spiritual guide, the murshid, the one who's guiding you to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The guide or the spiritual teacher had to lead the wandering soul of the disciple, taking the student stage by stage from cleansing of his spiritual impurities, renouncing the love of worldly temptations and desires, wealth and honor, infusing a spirit, a spirit of moral uprightness and correct ethical be behavior. All of this following the teachings contained in the Quran and the Sunnah. Yes, very important point. That the, the, the guide, the spiritual guide, the Shaykh of Tasawwuf, uh, has to guide you in this way, based on Quran and Sunnah. Now, this is one of the hallmarks of the, our spiritual order uh, that we follow, the, the Shadli way, of strictly adhering to Quran and Sunnah in whatever we do. And, and you would find uh, in my lectures, uh, there's always an emphasis on Quran and Sunnah. Whatever we are saying, we want to support it with uh, some uh, verse from the Quran or some hadith from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And this is the, the, the correct approach that you should follow. 
And, and so that is the role of the spiritual guide now, to guide you on the way. And of course, in his time, the time of Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani, he is the guide par excellence, the, the best of the, the, the spiritual guides, to guide people on the way to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is the role of the, the Sheikh of Tasawwuf, who you would give bayah to, is to take you by the hand to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are traveling on this journey to Allah. We are traveling on this journey to Allah. And uh, how do you arrive at that journey? How do you arrive? You, you arrive by someone guiding you, take, showing you the way, showing you the way. Once again, if you try to do this alone, to travel on this journey alone, you will be uh, misguided. Because this is a method instituted by the Prophet Wasallam. That he was there and the Sahabas gave bayah to him and they formed that jama'at. Together they followed the Prophet Wasallam. The Prophet Wasallam was inspired and, uh, by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The revelation was sent to him. Both the Quran and the Sunnah, the Hadith, is also revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Quran, the Prophet والسلام, does not say anything of his own. وَمَا يَنْتِقَنِ الْهَوَىٰ in huwa ila wahyun yuha, it is whatever he says is revelation inspired to him by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is guiding him. He is guiding the sahabas. The sahabas pass on that guidance to the tabi'een. The tabi'een pass on to the next generation, the tabi'i, tabi'een. And so it come, comes down to us in an unbroken chain. This is what you need to be mindful of. This is, in truth, what the bayah meant and by which the inspired spiritual guides try to infuse their discipline through preaching and personal example, loving care and sincerity, inner vitality of spirit and strength of moral integrity. The spiritual guide, they have these qualities and they would show you the way to Allah subhanahu wa And once again, based on Quran and Sunnah, if anyone tells you to do something which is not according to Quran and Sunnah, you don't accept that. And that's from the principles of this path, this way. Uh, Sheikh Ahmad Zarruq, the great scholar of this path, wrote a book called Kawaid at Tasawwuf. And he mentions this, that if anyone brings something to you, telling you to do something, which is against Quran and Sunnah, throw it against the wall. That's the expression used, which means reject it. Don't accept anything which is against Quran and Sunnah. Uh, and that is the way of the true spiritual guides of the accepted valid spiritual orders. And, and so, Sayyidi Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani, Sheikh Muhyiddin Abdul Qadir Jilani, this reform and reviver, was able to institute this method and founded the, his tariqa, the, the Qadiri tariqa, or the tariqa al Qadiriya based on uh, these form principles and then was able now to change people in a significant way. Different now, different before the lectures, public lectures and so on that people come and benefit from and would change little by little but not in an organized way. As, as is mentioned by the, the writers of the, book that, uh, the books that we refer to, they would change at their sweet will, at their convenience. But now, when people come and they want to be serious in Islam, they take bayah to the sheikh. And now it's a commitment now. So the change is more significant. People are committed to a particular course of action, which takes them closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And now collectively, murids, fellow murids coming together, are able to support one another in this jama'a, this uh, spiritual gathering and jama'a, support one another to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that support is essential for you. You cannot do this by yourself. The forces of evil are too strong that are against the light of guidance, the force of darkness prevalent in society, pervasive. It affects people, it affects our children and so on. Many times I, I get, uh, you know, 
complaints, messages, emails, and so on from parents complaining about their children, that their children in their teenage years, sometimes even before then, they're not listening to them, they're not obeying them, they're not praying, they're questioning Islam, want to know why should I be a Muslim, why should I have to pray five times a day, and so on. Yeah, this is happening in society. But one of the things that happen when a family joins the spiritual path, you know, before uh, the parents and grandparents, children, so on, they follow like that, they develop uh, certain habits and there's a barakah that comes with the spiritual path that, that's there that protects the children, protects the family members because that light of guidance is there. The daily vicar that you do in your home, day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, you're doing weird alarm every day. It has a powerful impact in you. And the different levels of dhikr that I mentioned earlier, it is like the walls of a castle that surrounds you. Concrete castle, strong walls that surrounds you. You are protected within that castle from evil things coming to you. Yeah, that's the protection the different levels of dhikr offer you that you should be mindful of. And this is something I want you, each one of you, to consider seriously that... Uh, you know, you, you can continue uh, reciting the weird alarm and so on as you like, whenever you like, or so on, or you can take a firm commitment to recite it every day. And when you do that, Allah SWT will make it easy for you. And if that is the commitment you would like to do, then you send me a message, inshallah. Send me an email to sheikhfaisal at gmail.com uh, and our team would get back to you and we would, we would give you instructions how to proceed in this matter. So you can take a commitment to following a life uh, of serious Islam in this way. Uh, to be serious that you, know, you can be close with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in a beautiful way. In a beautiful way, our way is the way of love, the way of peace, the way of mercy. Our way is not the way of extremism and, and so on. No, we stay away from all of that. We, we follow the prophetic way, the way of the Prophet and the way of mercy and peace and love and kindness and generosity, but a, a serious life of Islam at the same time, inshallah. And so that is what I wanted to share with you uh, as we continue this wonderful journey with Sayyidi Sheikh Abdul Qadir Al-Jilani, radiallahu anhu. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to understand the way of this great Imam, this great Sheikh, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our hearts so we can see the wisdom of what he's teaching us to do, that we can follow it, inshallah, and become part of this spiritual order so we can travel to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala show his special mercies and forgiveness upon each and every one of you. Ameen, ameen, ameen. وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وأخير دعوان الحمد لله رب العالمين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعه علم الله لا إله إلا الله 
محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Inshallah, we would make our dua now. And uh, our need for dua, uh, we want to recognize all our donors, those who donated uh, today and yesterday and before. We make special dua for, for all of them, inshallah, uh, including uh, Sister Zinatul Farooqi and family from Brampton, we thank them for their donation to the Islamic Forum. Uh, Brother Azfar Ali from Imprasol, uh, City Don Franks, and Brother Jose Garcia from Chicago, City Khatul bin Zamanuddin from Seattle, Washington, Brother Ramatali Musrab from Mississauga, City Abbas Ali from Brampton. Sidi Kamran Bhatti and family from Columbus, Ohio. Sidi uh, Dr. Wasim Mir from um, New York. 
Brother Tariq Chowdhury and family from Connecticut, uh, Sister Brenda Williams from Harlem, New York, United States, um, Sister Bibi Khan, also City James Lapidari from Sri Lanka. We thank them for the donation. Sister Bibi Motilal for the monthly donation as well. We thank them. Sister Zairul and family from Toronto. We thank them for their donation to the Islamic Forum. Also, uh, we have a new uh, profile for Sister Sophia Pessoa from Miramar, Florida, United States for the Rabia Thani donation. This is very special Rabia Thani appeal in this month of Rabia Thani that we are now so we hope, inshallah, you can all uh, respond to the Rubiathani appeal. Uh, also, we uh, thank uh, Sister Salima Razak and Sister Faniza Ishaq for their donation for uh, the new Masjid Fund. Uh, Sister Kafilat Adiyinka for her donation to the Islamic Forum, herself and her family. Uh, Brother Muhammad Yaqub Mia for his donation to the Islamic Forum for zakat purposes. Uh, again, Sister Brenda Williams for her donation to the Islamic Forum. And Sister Safia Pessoa also an additional donation to the Islamic Forum. And Sister uh, Safia from Miramar, Florida. Sister Bibi Shamyun Amin and Brother Philip from Ottawa for their monthly donation to the Islamic Forum. Uh, Brother Patrick Wilson and family from Mississauga for their donation to the Islamic Forum. Uh, Brother Naeem Saleh from Brampton for his donation to the Islamic Forum. And again, Brother Naeem Saleh and family for Sadaqa donation for the Islamic Forum. Sister Alicia Salim for her donation to the Islamic Forum. Sister Alicia. Sister Halim Khan Dubey and the Dubey family for their donation to the Islamic Forum. Brother Faz Muhammad and Sister Hali Muhammad for their donation to the Islamic Forum. Sidi Imran Durani and family for his donation to the Islamic Forum. Sidi Ahmed Khan for his donation to the Islamic Forum. Sister Brenda Williams again and uh, uh, Sidi Wasim, Mir from New York, and Brother Tahir Chowdhury from Con Connecticut for their continuing uh, Rabia Thani donation. Uh, Sister Shamina Owen for her donation to Islamic Forum. Sister Ghazala Razi for her donation to the Islamic Forum. Sister Katul bin Zamanuddin from Seattle, Washington. Sister Shakila Majid from Pembroke Pines in Florida. Sister Habiba Nuruddin from Lawrenceville in Georgia. Brother Riaz Ahmed and family from Mississauga for their donation to the Islamic Forum. Sister Bibi Khan and family for their donation to the Islamic Forum. Sister Akinsegun Oyekunle and her family for their donation to the Islamic Forum. Uh, Siti Arashia from Los Angeles, California for her donation to the Islamic Forum. Brother William Akbar from Milledgeville in Georgia, at, uh, United States for a donation to the Islamic Forum. Siti Samir Khiri 
from Cambridge for his donation to the Islamic Forum, and Sister Zinatul Farooqi and family for their donation to the Islamic Forum, Brother Nasrul Wahid for donation for the Islamic Forum for the new Masjid Building Fund. Sister Bibi Motilal and family for their donation to the Islamic Forum. This is the monthly donation category. Uh, Brother Ahmed Al Ghunaymi for his donation to the Islamic Forum. Uh, this is Saliha Chowdhury and family for the monthly donation to the Islamic Forum. And these are some of the names I want to recognize uh, tonight, so make do for all of them and for all our donors, inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa bless all of them. Alhamdulillah. There are several requests for dua, including from uh, Sister Abidan and Shamayla, uh, Brother Ahsan Shabir from Turkey, Sister Rose Usman. And Sister Rose says, uh, requesting dua for her husband, Brother Mustafa Muhammad. Today is 23 years since his passing. One make special dua for him. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive him, have mercy on him, and bless him with Jannah. So, uh, the husband of Sister Rose Usman. Uh, Brother Mustafa Muhammad, uh, who passed away 23 years ago. Uh, Sister Zairi requests though for her granddaughter, Wasima. Today is her eight, eight years, her birthday. She's eight years old today. So we make special law for the birthday of Wasima. And we wish her a happy birthday. May Allah subhanahu wa bless her on her birthday. The granddaughter of Sister Zairi. Sister Urmi Khan Islam requesting dua. Sister Bibi Rosine Parjan requesting dua. Sister Roxana Begum and Fan requesting dua. And Brother Tariq Firoz requesting dua, inshallah. So we make a dua for all those who requested their dua, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. So those are the brothers and sisters, families who entered the information chat, and we make dua for all of them. And for each and every one of you, we want to make special dua for you as well. Whatever du'a you want to make, keep that uh, knee in your heart, and we make du'a for you. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will accept from you. We also want to include uh, Sidi Jamil Chowdhury from New York, du'a for Shifa, and his granddaughter Safiya. We make du'a for her Shifa as well. Alhamdulillah. Uh, Siti Hawa Vivian, du'a for her brothers for Shifa and for the entire family for protection. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them. And I want also to include my father-in-law, Brother Ali Baksh, on the anniversary of his passing. And as well, uh, my entire family, my wife, my children, my siblings, their family, my entire family, and my mom and dad especially, make dua for them. Please mention them in your dua, if possible. And for Sidi uh, Afraz's wife, Siti Amida, who is ill, we make dua for her. And uh, she's taking, she's scheduled to take a surgery on Friday, pray last month, Allah, make the surgery successful and heal her from her illness. So kindly uh, join us in dua. Please raise your hand in dua. Allahumma ameen. A'udhu billahi samil alim in shaitan rajim Bismillahi rahman rahim Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'een. La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inna kunna min al-zhanimeen La ilaha illa Allah al-halim al-kareem Subhanallah rabbil arshi al-azim Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen Allahumma inna nas'aluka mujibati rahmatik Wa azaima maghfiratik Wa al-ghanimata min kulli bir Wa salamata min kulli ithn Allahumma la tada' lana dhanban illa ghafarta Wa la hamman illa farajta ولا دينا إلا قديتا 
ولا مريضا إلا شفيتا ولا مريضا إلا شفيتا ولا ميتا إلا رحمتا ولا ميتا إلا رحمتا ولا حاجة من حوائج الدنيا والآخرة هي لك رضا إلا قديتها برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ودخلنا الجنة مع الأبرار يا عزيز يا غفار يا رب العالمين ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله سيدنا محمد رسول الله اللهم آمين 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 May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase us in tawfiq and kubul and ziyadah. Uh, for our email today, our daily email that we sent out to you, uh, we, uh, inc- we sent out the special links for the video. Uh, and we, we focused in the email today on the uh, Sira series. So another new episode that we sent out today for the Sira series. So please check the email uh, from the Islamic Forum um, and you would have the link there for the special videos. Then you, uh, you can look at the vid- video, very beneficial, very useful. And then you can also forward the email to your contacts, your family members, relatives, friends, other Muslims you know, that they can also look at the video, they can benefit from it, and you would gain blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We make sure, especially that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, protect each and every one of you from the coronavirus pandemic. Protect you, protect your family members, your loved ones from uh, the, any sorts of harm and injury, and keep you safe and secure in the best of well being, in afia. Uh, we make special uh, in, for each and every one of you in that way, inshallah. We want to thank you for joining our program today. We hope you can join us every day, 7 p.m. Toronto time. And do tell others uh, about the programs that they can join as well. Remember to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button. And next to the subscribe button, there's a bell. Uh, click on the bell, select all for notifications, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless each and every one of you. Remember the Rabi Athani appeal that you can respond to if you haven't already done so. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep you always in the shade of His mercy. Until we meet again, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu.